Broadcasting live from somewhere in the Shadow Realm, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Talk. Here's your host, Doug Dimidul. Hey there, welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Talk. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Dino Smashers Fury Structure deck. Uh, this one just got released in the United States as of April 13th, or I guess in some places April 14th, depending on where you're at. Uh, I just happened to pick up uh, one of these suckers yesterday, and I got to tell you, I am pretty excited about the potential that comes with this deck. Um, just, just kind of playing around with it. Picking up multiple copies of the structure deck, I ended up picking up three myself and trying to see where I could go with this one. And I've uh, been watching a lot of a lot of interesting videos online from other other uh, Yugi tubers who were throwing out some really cool ideas with these things. But uh, without further ado, let's start taking a look at some of the cards that uh, this thing came with. Petit Tyranodon. There we go. Uh, this card, if it's destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 4 or higher dinosaur type monster from your deck, but it cannot attack this turn. Now, this one is a level 2 uh, with a 500 attack and defense. Uh, this card will be very, very useful in trying to get out some of your boss monsters and uh, really running through your deck and uh, getting things out there that you want. There's a similar card in here, the Baby Cerasaurus, uh, also a 2 star with 500 attack and defense. Uh, if this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon one level 4 or a lower dinosaur type monster from your deck. But it doesn't have the stipulation that it can't attack. So this is another good card to have in the deck as well. You may want to run multiples of, uh, of both of these, especially the, uh, <laughs> I'm try this again, the Petit Tyranodon. So next one we have coming up here is, of course, the big boss monster, the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. This one's pretty sweet, 3,500 attack, uh, 3,200 defense. It cannot be normal summoned or set. It must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing two dinosaur-type monsters from your graveyard. Once per turn during either player's main phase, you can destroy one monster in your hand or field, and if you do, change all face-up monsters your opponent controls to face-down defense position. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks a defense position monster, you can inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent, and if you do, send that defense position monster to the graveyard. So I guess, say for example, your opponent loads up the field with five monsters. Uh, basically, this guy already acts like a a quaking mirror force if you're going to use the effect to turn all the other monsters in face down defense position attack them once each and basically getting a thousand life points to you know doctoring your opponent's life points uh, for each one of those attacks and the interesting thing that it seems like a few folks pointed out was that uh, the monsters that ultimate conductor tyranno is attacking are actually being sent to the graveyard by effect rather than by battle so i know certain effects that monsters have on the other end uh, that may be activated by being destroyed during battle uh, wouldn't necessarily apply in this case since it would be actually sent to the graveyard rather by card effect so uh, just a neat little nuance in there uh, here's another one of the really important cards for this deck that you want to have multiples of and it's soul eating over raptor uh, if this card is normal or special summoned you can take one dinosaur type monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. You can target one other level 4 or lower dinosaur type monster on the field, destroy it, then special summon one dinosaur type monster from your graveyard in defense position. You can only use each effect of Soul Eating Over Raptor once per turn. Okay, so this this one's going to be real important as far as maybe if you don't have your Ultimate Conductor Tyranno in your hand, using the Soul Eating Over Raptor is one way to get your boss monster into your hand. But anyway, moving on to Miscellaneous Saurus. Uh, it just seems like a mishmash of all different dinosaurs, so the, <laughs> the name is fitting. Um, it's an 1800 attack, 1000 defense. Uh, the effect is during either player's main phase, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. During this main phase, dino the dinosaur type monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. You can banish any number of dinosaur type monsters from your graveyard, including this card. Special summon one dinosaur type monster from your deck with a level equal to the total number of monsters banished to activate this effect, but destroy it during the end phase. You can only use this effect of Miscellaneousaurus once per turn. So, if you banish two monsters, you could end up pulling out one of the two baby dinosaurs that uh, we mentioned at the beginning. So, uh, then you can get your combos off in that, uh, you know, in that way as well. 
and it's it's pretty crucial too looking at uh, looking at some of these cards that allow you to banish more um, monsters from your graveyard and get them out of there um, for actually this next card that I'm going to discuss and I've seen a few few folks talking about this card as well you know uh, I, I think this is a pretty underrated card that this could you know really change the game for you especially if uh, if you have an opponent who's been you know using their traps or their monsters to really banish a lot of your you know a lot of your monsters trying to keep you from getting to your boss monster well <laughs> we got a little ace up our sleeve here with tyranno infinity and its effect is the original attack of this card is the number of your banished dinosaur type monsters multiplied by 1000 say your opponent's getting real slick and uh you know has a uh, has one of your ban uh, has a banisher type of monster where you know maybe every dinosaur that you're uh, getting removed into the graveyard ends up being banished well, hey, so you got six or seven uh, dinosaur monsters sitting in your band, you know, sitting out there banished. Hey, <laughs> send this guy out here, Tyranno Infinity, uh, you know, level four monster. Uh, boom, you'll have 6,000, 7,000 attack, and uh, you could you could end the game pretty quick if uh, if things turn out in the right direction there. So, uh, for me, I think that's a very highly underrated card as far as this deck is concerned, and, and I'm planning on getting getting some use out of that one. Uh, the cool thing about this deck too is, uh, you know, outside of all the dinosaurs, and I'll be touching on a few more of them, is uh, it comes with Rescue Rabbit. <laughs> so, uh, the, if this card can uh, cannot be special summoned from the deck, but you can banish this face-up card you control, special summon two level four or lower normal monsters with the same name from your deck, but destroy them during the end phase. You can only use this effect of Rescue Rabbit once per turn. So, um, they're pretty useful for. I mean, you're getting a few of your combos off. Um, I know it's limited to one, so you can't uh, can't get too crazy with these. But uh, yeah, excellent card as well that came with the structure deck. Uh, let's see, I got a few more a few more Dino monsters here before we get into the spells and traps. Uh, I got Sauropod Brachion, which this card's fantastic too. It's a let's see, it's a level eight monster, fifteen hundred attack, three thousand defense. Uh, but its effect is awesome. Uh, cannot be special summoned from the deck. You can tribute summon this face up. Uh, you can tribute summon this card face up by tributing one dinosaur type monster. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. If this card is flip summoned, change all other monsters on the field to face down defense position. If this card is attacked, any battle damage your opponent takes from that battle is doubled. So. Because uh, I know it's got a 3,000 defense, so if uh, they take a bit of a hit, you know, you double it, which is fantastic. But uh, definitely the big effect here is is basically changing all other cards on the field to face down defense position. Again, it's another quaking mirror force type of situation. Uh, this card is, is pretty slick. Uh, here's another one that's been around for a little while, but uh, I still think it's pretty sweet. Comes with the uh, comes with the structure deck, the Ultimate Tyranno. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. During your battle phase, if you control an Ultimate Tyranno that can attack, monsters other than Ultimate Tyranno cannot attack. Uh, so again, it's a 3,000 attack, 2,200 defense. Uh, I, it's a fantastic card too. Uh, big fan of it. And just as uh, as another option here, we just have a level four um, water monster. This is uh, Megalo Smasher X. It's a dinosaur, 2,000 attack, zero defense. Uh, this card, you know, you can get some pretty good use out of it. Uh, it's a, you know, it's 2,000. So I mean, as far as normal monsters are concerned, uh, no complaints there. Uh, here's another one: Evil Swarm uh, Salamandra. Uh, 1850 attack, 950 defense. Up to twice per turn, you can banish one monster from your graveyard. This card gains 300 attack until the end of your opponent's turn. So, and I, I mean, I think this card is great, especially if you're going with the strategy to try and get out your Tyranno Infinity and have some more banished dinosaur monsters. Uh, you know, so that you could really boost the attack. Evil Swarm Salamandra is a good way to start getting those monsters out of your graveyard and throw them into uh, you know, throw them into your banished zone there. So uh, yeah, it depends on which way you want to take your strategy in your deck. But I really like um, I, I really like the way that that card is set up with its effect. Um, so next we will move into the magic cards. I mean the, the spell cards. Uh, I didn't touch on a few of the other uh, dinosaur monsters, but uh, as far as there's plenty more to take a look at, but we're just going to kind of keep this short. Uh, first, the uh, first spell card we have here is Lost World. It is a field spell, and this thing is 
brilliant. Uh, all monsters on the field lose 500 attack and defense except dinosaur type monsters. Once per turn, if a dinosaur type monster is normal or special summoned, except during the damage step, you can special summon one Jurag token. It's a dinosaur type, earth level 1, attack 0, defense 0, to your opponent's field in defense position. While your opponent controls a token, they cannot target monsters on the field with card effects except tokens. Once per turn, if a normal monster on the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy that many dinosaur type monsters in your hand or deck instead. Uh, yeah, this card is really, really, really good. Uh, and of course, that comes with the structure deck is also terraforming, too, so you could really search out your Lost World. So definitely run three Lost Worlds if you're uh, making one of these decks uh, with the dinosaurs. Uh, I'll run a few terraformings in there as well. Here's another really good one, Fossil Dig, another spell card that allows you to add one level 6 or lower dinosaur type monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, so that could really kind of get a lot of your, your combos moving pretty quick. Uh, which is, and here's another great spell card, uh, the one that uh, it was, you know, uh, it, it was a little pricey, but now they, they got these reprinted, uh, Twin Twisters. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you discard one card, then target up to two spell or trap cards on the field and destroy them. It's also a quick effect. Uh, really great card to have, and really excited that it came with this uh, with this structure deck. Painful decision, another really good card. Uh, send one level four or lower normal monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, add one card with the same name as that card from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one painful decision per turn. Uh, I do really like that card, uh, especially if you want you're trying to get more cards into your graveyard so you could uh, get out your your boss monster. But uh, I guess as far as normal monsters go, I'll probably have a few uh, Megalo Smasher X uh, monsters in there, so uh, probably won't run a lot of painful decisions. Probably just one, or I don't know. Uh, not even sure if I'll even have one in the deck, but at least uh, this card can actually you know really help you on on more than one occasion. Um, Unexpected die. Yeah, I'm glad it came with this card as well. If you control no monsters, special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your deck. Uh, yeah, just another way to get out another normal if you need one. Uh, here's another really good uh, spell card. Burial from a different dimension. You could target up to three banished monsters and return them to the graveyard. So this could uh, yeah, this could really come in handy like that card a lot, especially if you're going to be banishing to get out your boss monster for other reasons as well. Uh, you know, just kind of reload your graveyard so to speak uh, as far as relevant spell cards I'm just gonna go with those for right now and we'll move on to some of the some of the more awesome traps that came with this structure deck first we have survival's end and this card's awesome destroy as many normal monsters on the field as possible and if you do special summon level four or lower dinosaur type monsters from your deck up to the number destroyed but destroy them during the end phase you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one dinosaur type monster you control and one card your opponent controls and destroy them. I mean, that's that's a pretty good trap to have uh, hanging around in your deck. Uh, and I know I've mentioned this card a few times uh, with some of the other monster effects, but this deck also comes with Quaking Mirror Force. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, change all attack position monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. Monsters changed to face down defense position by this effect cannot change their battle positions. Really, really good card. Uh, the last trap that I have here is Fossil Excavation. Activate this card by discarding one card, then target one dinosaur type monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Negate the effects of that monster on the field. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. So, I mean, it's basically a uh, call of the haunted for, for a dinosaur. So, uh, awesome trap card. Basically, just overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with, with this set. Uh, like I said, I picked up three. I'm going to start playing around with everything and see, you know, just see if I get a pure dinosaur deck going and, and seeing where it goes from there. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is, as far as everything goes, I and mean, this is a great, great set. Um, and of course, you also get your, your Jura Egg tokens as well. So, uh, you'll, you probably will need them, especially if you're going to be playing Lost World. But overall, I think this deck is awesome. Uh, it comes with a lot of great cards. And uh, definitely highly recommend, uh, you know, picking picking a few of these up uh, next time you're out passing by anywhere where you got some some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh structure decks lying around. So with that, I'm going to call it quits, and I hope you all had a good time, and we'll see you next time. Join us on Facebook. 
Go to Facebook.com slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Talk. Tell us about the decks you want to see broken down and analyzed. Discuss strategy and new cards. Meet other duelists. It's all on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Talk Facebook page. Like it today!